evening. My name is Susan Maletta, and uh, today I had the craziest bad hair day ever. And it started this morning. I went to get ready for my day, and I go into the bathroom to go get ready. And I go to go look in the mirror, and it's like, oh, hello, Nick Dalty. Nice to see you in my bathroom. When'd you get out? Gosh, yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> I should have moved that to the end of the set, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Note to self. <laughs> Today I was on the road and I got cut off on the road by a blue Prius. A blue Prius, yeah, with a very angry driver. He slammed on the horn. <laughs> I couldn't even get mad. It's like, what is this, road rage from a Smurf? <laughs> uh, it's like, what, it's like a vegetarian on his last breath. <laughs> I was at the drugstore today, and I got a razor. Got the Venus Vibrance Vibrating Razor for Women. But I got to say, when I saw this, my first reaction was, I don't know, this whole combination of shaking and cutting? <laughs> that doesn't sound safe to me. That sounds about as safe as getting my bikini wax from somebody with Parkinson's disease. <laughs> but being the risk taker that I am, I bought that razor, yeah. I took that razor home, oh yeah. I climaxed three times. <laughs> I tried to give myself, what do you call one of those uh, landing strips? Came out with a U-turn. <laughs> it was kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not only a, a stand-up comedian, but I work in a cubicle. Yeah, I work in a cubicle, and I go to a lot of meetings, and you know, now they have a Weight Watchers meetings at my work. Wow, talk about micromanagement. And so uh, you can bring your own lunch. They're, it's at noon. And uh, so I get there with my number three, extra cheese, no pickles. And I sit, I sit next to this lady, and she's got her wheat pita stuffed with resentment. But anyway. <laughs> and you know, Weight Watchers is based on a point value system, which means you, you assign point values to foods, which makes sense because every time I think of eating a wheat pita, I think, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point, really? My boss called a meeting with me and he says, listen, I have some issues I'd like to discuss with you about your behavior. It's come to my attention on more than one occasion that you're a little confrontational. And I said, gosh, boss, who the hell told you that? <laughs> that was the clean version. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's also come to my attention on more than one occasion that you're a little less than friendly. And I said, you know, I may be less than friendly, but I'm more than sexually inappropriate. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Since my divorce, I've been going through a lot of changes. Yeah, a lot of changes. One of those changes is I used to live in this beautiful four bedroom home, and now I live in this okay four door Buick, but it's great. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> no, I got an apartment. I got an apartment with a pool because the kids don't have a father. But hey, kids like swimming. <laughs> Here's a photo. You go have some fun with that, kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, it's, it's difficult to date when you're a single mom. They say, they say you, got, you know, you got kids. Wow, you got a lot of baggage. Yeah, well, I just call, call them a couple carry-ons, no big deal. But <laughs> I have to be very creative, and I do the online dating. I'm not ashamed. All right, I'm a little ashamed. So I do the online dating. I have to, I, I'm very creative, and I came up with a really catchy catchphrase. It says, uh, I have a sexy secret. Oh, yeah, sexy. <laughs> I'm very flexible. Oh, yeah, flexible. And then you open it up. I'm, I'm willing to let you pick up my kids on Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> I'll let you decide. I'm flexible in that way. <laughs> 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 
So I did the online dating. I met, met, met a nice deaf guy. I met a deaf guy online. And I, I emailed him, and I said, so hey, what do you want to do tonight? And he emails me back, and he goes, I don't know. Let's just play it by hand. <laughs> huh? 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 Oh my God, things are going great with this one guy, this Turkish guy. And he goes, oh my God, your, your breasts are so beautiful. They could feed five of my children. What are these, the pickup lines in Turkey? Kind of weird. And he goes, so, uh, you know, I hope you don't mind my Turkish music and could be a little hard to get used to. And I'm like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. A couple of minutes later, I hear this, la 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 I'm like, oh, it's, it's great. Oh, Susan, that was my car alarm. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, chatting with this one guy. Things were going great. And he goes, you know, we've been chatting for kind of a long time. I think it's about time you sent me a picture of yourself. And I go, yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> so I sent him what I thought was a really glamorous picture of myself. And he goes, oh, my God. <laughs> you look just like that lady from Fatal Attraction. Really? You think I look like that lady from Fatal Attraction? She's quite a bit older than me. And he didn't write me back, so I emailed him again. I said, look, I will not be ignored! <laughs> Recently took a vacation. On the last night before I left, I took a soak in the hot tub. This young guy gets in the water. He starts hitting on me. And he goes, hey, 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 guess how old I am? Guess how old I am? Guess how old I am? Guess my age? And I go, I don't know, judging by the question, nine? <laughs> But okay, uh, I don't know, 21 or 22. And he goes, nope, I'm 21 and a half. <laughs> and then I said something I'll never say again. I said, now let's guess my age. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, I don't know, 44 or 45. And I go, you know what, you're way off. You need to be more careful. And he goes, what, 54 or 55? <laughs> You're not getting any of this MILF action tonight. <laughs> Here's a 40! Go have some fun with that! And he goes, oh, by the way, can I get your autograph, Mr. Nolte, before you go? 